As the Yankees head into the offseason, these are the players they have on the roster now that will be free agents and a bunch of pitchers. Luis Severino, Wandy Peralta, Frankie Montas, who just came back after his surgery. Keenan Middleton, whom they acquired midseason, and then Isaiah Kiner Falefa. So, Jack, as you take a look at that group, do any factor in in 2024? I think Montas could. We talked about that yesterday. I don't think it was a coincidence that the Yankees after his minor league rehab wanted to get him back at the major league level because you could sign him to a one-year incentive laden deal and have him as someone who could be backup for your rotation you're always going to need more than five starters I could see them wanting to reunite with Peralta because he is someone who has been so important out of the bullpen and comes in and just doesn't have any nerves surrounding him and though he wasn't on the graphic John Carlos Stanton is a big piece to the offseason puzzle for the Yankees because he's got four years and about $100 million left on his deal. He's got a no-trade clause. So for all the folks who are shouting, you got to trade Stanton, well, Stanton would have some say in any potential trade. So I do think the Yankees have to answer the question for themselves. He will be 34 years old next year. Do you think there is anything left? It's easy for him to say that it's minor adjustments, but since the beginning of 2022, he can't hit a fastball. He's hitting about 200 against fastballs, so a lot of questions lying ahead. Yeah, that's the first thing that has to change with Stan is getting back to hitting number one. And you can look at that free agent graphic that we just showed right there. IKF had a really good year for the Yankees, and IKF is probably putting himself out on the market at a very attractive time being such a versatile player. And the Yankees have Oswaldo Cabrera, who can play all these different positions and is a switch hitter. So it might be the end of the road for IKF. But I look at internally for the Yankees, the guys that they have to get back on track. Jack, you mentioned Stanton. I'm going to look at Rizzo coming off of the concussion. He's got to get back to being that guy that can protect Aaron Judge in the lineup. DJ LeMayu had a terrible year but really rebounded at the end, so maybe there's some excitement that he can have a solid year next year. They have to take care of the veteran guys and bring them back in a better spot because once we saw this year that Aaron Judge went down and the veteran star players around him didn't respond, everything fell apart. So those veteran guys have to get back on form next year.